Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is cloud computing, a vital part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll cover the basics of cloud computing. The term cloud computing derives its name from the cloud-like shapes used in old diagrams to represent the telephone network, believe it or not, and later to depict the Internet. Often used as a metaphor for the entire Internet, it's generally defined by the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, as a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources, network, servers, storage, applications, and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. As such, it's a major shift away from the mainframe and client-server computing models it replaces. As a matter of practical fact, the cloud is very much akin to the time-sharing service bureau and application service provider offerings of yore. What's different is the new IT services model that it embodies. Fundamentally, there are four variations on the theme as follows. There's a private cloud, which is a cloud infrastructure provisioned for exclusive use by a single organization comprising multiple consumers, like business units. A private cloud can be owned, managed, and operated by the organization, a third party, or some combination, and it may exist on or off premises. A community cloud involves a cloud infrastructure provisioned for the exclusive use of a specific community of consumers from organizations that have shared concerns, a shared mission, security requirements, policy, appliance considerations, and so forth. It may be owned, managed, and operated by one or more of the organizations in the community, a third party, or some combination, and it too may exist on or off premises. A public cloud infrastructure is provisioned for open use by the general public. It may be owned, managed, and operated by a business, academic, or government organization, or some combination. It exists on the premises of the cloud provider. And finally, a hybrid cloud is a composition of two or more distinct cloud infrastructures, private, community, or public, that remain unique entities but are bound together by standardized or proprietary technology that enables data and application portability. For instance, cloud bursting for load balancing between clouds. Cloud computing services come in three essential varieties all of which are aimed at relieving organizations of many of the technical and financial burdens associated with IT development, management, and use. The first are Cloud Application Services, or Software as a Service, SaaS offerings. These deliver applications, well, as a service over the Internet, eliminating the need to install and run them on an organization's own computers, thereby simplifying maintenance and support. There are also Cloud Infrastructure Services, or Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS. I don't know how to pronounce that. These deliver computing infrastructures, typically platform virtualization environments, as a fully outsourced service, along with raw or block storage and networking. And third, there are Cloud Platform Services, or Platform as a Service, PaaS. These deliver computing platforms or solution stacks as a service, often consuming cloud infrastructure and sustaining cloud applications. These facilitate deployment of applications without the cost and complexity of buying and managing the underlying hardware and software layers. These models are all built atop several value propositions that all potentially conspire to make an IT manager's life much easier, even if they come at the expense of having to use generally standard and non-customizable services. In a nutshell, they boil down to these, as articulated by NIST and advisory firm MWD Advisors. Third-party ownership. As a new form of outsourcing, cloud computing lets customers trying to focus the allocation of scarce capital resources on their core businesses move IT infrastructure off their balance sheet. The cloud provider owns not only the IT infrastructure, 
but IT management responsibilities as well. Software upgrades, data backups, and the countless other tasks required to manage mission-critical business applications on a day-to-day -day basis are the third party's responsibility and are governed by a well-defined service level agreement. Another advantage is measured service. Cloud computing systems automatically control and optimize resource use by leveraging a metering capability at some level of abstraction appropriate to the type of service – storage, processing, bandwidth, active user accounts, etc. Like a utility, customers consume computing and storage services on demand and pay for them as operating expenses, instead of paying for infrastructure resources up front as capital expenditures. On-demand self-service is another value point. With cloud computing, a consumer can unilaterally provision computing capabilities, such as server time and network storage, as needed and automatically, without requiring human interaction with each service provider. Business end users can self-provision applications and user accounts with a few mouse clicks, knowing in advance what the additional per-user cost is going to be and enjoying nearly instant availability. Rapid elasticity is also a plus. Cloud capabilities can be elastically provisioned and released, in some cases automatically, to scale rapidly outward and inward according to demand. So rather than tap into a fixed set of resources, Users can add or remove capacity at will and only pay for what they actually use. Resource pooling and virtualization is another goodie. Cloud computing resources are pooled to serve multiple consumers with different physical and virtual resources dynamically assigned and scaled elastically according to consumer demand. Virtual slices of resources are created from clusters of servers and storage devices in the cloud, perfectly sized to fit the specific needs of multiple users. Examples of resources include storage, processing, memory, and network bandwidth. Broad network access is yet another plus. Cloud capabilities are available over the network and accessed through standard mechanisms that promote use by heterogeneous thin or thick client platforms, like mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and workstations. And last on this long list is location independence. The customer generally has no control or knowledge over the exact location of the provided resources but may be able to specify location at a higher level of abstraction, which is to say by country, state, or data center. Interestingly, the cloud is as much a consumer trend as it is a business phenomenon, as the likes of Google Calendar, Apple iTunes Match, and banks' online bill pay services, not to mention AOL, Gmail, Yahoo, LinkedIn, and Facebook, all utilize the cloud model and are being leveraged by just plain folk who don't give their hosting a single thought. Examples on the business side include the erstwhile salesforce.com for sales and contact management, Microsoft Windows Azure for running Windows applications and storing files and data using Microsoft's data centers, and sites like WordPress for blogs. Never mind every web hosting service in the world, all of which are provided on a cloud basis. Online forums, shared file storage spaces, and event registration offerings are other solutions that are commonly moved out of house and into the cloud as well. The offloading into the cloud of IT management and cost notwithstanding, governance is something that organizations should do and must retain ownership of. After all, if a judicial finger is going to be pointed at anyone because of an infrastructure-related issue, it's going to be aimed directly at you. Here's a quick roundup of key points to consider when thinking about cloud solution. There's compliance. Can your cloud providers submit to audits and security certifications? There's data location. Is your provider willing to contractually commit that they're obeying the privacy laws of the local, regional, and national jurisdictions in which they're storing your data? Data segregation. Is your data properly segregated from everybody else's on the shared server so it can't be read by just anybody? Availability. Have you defined your service level requirements and other penalty clauses that can be invoked should they not be met? Recovery. What happens if your cloud provider suffers a natural disaster? or even simply a crash that results in total data loss? Can it do a complete restoration in a timely fashion? And what about viability? What happens to your data if your provider gets acquired or goes bankrupt? This module has covered the basics of cloud computing, a new consumption and delivery model for IT services. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the section on mobile applications. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, 
you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.